Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Very hard to watch there. It's getting very hard to watch. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty freaking bad. And this is one of those reviews I don't even feel like doing. The show is so fucking boring. I don't even feel like talking about it. It starts off with Kevin Owens, Jericho, Sami Zayn, Dean Ambrose, Cesaro, Alberto Del Rio. This is to promote the money in the bank or whatever. It's six guys with six ladders. They're all sitting on top of their own ladder talking shit to each other, you know? Now, some people might be impressed by this there. Oh, it's guys sitting on the ladder or something like this. There's ladders, fucking impressive or something. But, you know, from my point of view there, they, they might be sitting on ladders, but they're not saying jack fucking shit. The promos, it's not good. You got guys sitting on ladders and it's like cheap comedy of some kind. And who the fuck would sit on the ladder to talk with somebody? Hey buddy, you and I got a score to settle. Grab your ladder there, let's talk there. Hey buddy, <laughs> you know, who the fuck would do this? Sitting on the ladder to talk to somebody. And then... Teddy Long comes out. It's Teddy Long. He's botching his fucking lines big time. Apparently, he wants to be the SmackDown GM. And Stephanie McMahon tells him to go away or something. That's the opening segment. Guys sitting on ladders. They're not saying jack fucking shit. And you got Teddy Long coming out to botch his lines. That's your opening, but I'm sure some people think it's super awesome simply because guys are sitting on top of ladders. First match, Cesaro defeated Chris Jericho, and he beat him pretty easily, you know what I mean? It was an okay match, but it, it's not exciting. And like I said, Cesaro, it's become watered down now. It's always the same fucking match. The same uppercut 50 times per match, you know what I mean? And the whole thing where he rips off his suit. Is this supposed to be cool, this suit gimmick? Is it supposed to be funny? Because I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's funny. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with Cesaro. Him coming out, ripping the suit off every five minutes there. I don't know what's cool with about this, you know. Match was, was okay, but it's, it's, it's cheap at the same time there. Second match, Rusev defeats Jack Swagger by count out. Who the fuck cares about this? A, a two-minute count-out match from two guys that we've seen wrestle a thousand times there. Titus O'Neil comes out to save Swagger to attack Rusev. And they're trying to, like, take Titus O'Neil and put him in the old Jack Swagger position back when... He was getting USA chance and shit like this. And they've already done this with Rusev. They killed the whole USA magic that they had in the past. And now he's just fighting jobbers. I wouldn't be surprised if this match wasn't just a pre-show match as well there, but... As far as what happened between them on Raw, it was more fucking garbage. Then we had the Cena and AJ Styles promo, which I enjoyed there. AJ Styles talking about Cena burying people, shit like this. So I enjoyed that. New Day was getting involved there. <laughs> I didn't enjoy as much, but whatever. It, it was a, a good promo there. 
third match, the VOD villains defeated Enzo and Big Cass by DQ. So they tried to give him a concussion with the ropes like they did last time. They like tried to fake that or whatever. Big Cass got upset. He was supposed to be very upset. His his face didn't look that upset. They're bad acting. Should go to acting school, maybe. And then Big Cass was upset. He starts punching in a little bit. A couple of kicks. And the ref disqualifies him. <laughs> you know? Very fucking cheap. Very, very, very cheap. So Big Cass... You know, a couple of punches and kicks, he's disqualified. There's your match. Another fucking stupid DQ match. Fourth match, Alberto Del Rio defeats Sami Zayn. Again, this was done pretty quickly. And they've already done these matches. Like the six money in the bank guys. Three matches of one-on-one. -on -one. They've already done this like two, three times already for fuck's sake. And again, this match wasn't that impressive. Alberto beats him with his fake stupid double stomp move in the corner. And if it's the new generation, why isn't Sami Zayn getting the victory? Why aren't they fucking building this guy up to make him look good if he's a new star? What's the point of Alberto beating him? You know, the match was okay, but again, not impressive. And it's the same thing here. Fifth match, Dean Ambrose defeats Kevin Owens. Same thing, it just felt uneventful. It feels fucking uneventful. Ambrose beats him with his DDT, beats him easily like this, you know, Kevin Owens was kicking out of fucking attitude adjustments left and right. He can't kick out of a simple DDT in a throwaway match. It just felt fucking cheap, flat, and uneventful to me there. Then we had Charlotte and Dana Brooke, Natalia, Becky Lynch cutting a fucking awful fucking promos there. Very cheap. It turned into a little brawl. Nobody gave a flying fuck there. Moving on, fuck. Uh, in the sixth match, it was R Truth and Tyler Breeze. And it ended in a disqualification. And, and after like 30 seconds. A dumb, very dumb looking disqualification. Fandango was crawling on the floor in, in the ring. I think he hit our truth's legs. Maybe a little bit. Just kind of touched his leg like this there. And, and it was a disqualification that, you know. Talk about wasting our fucking time there. Teddy Long comes out to, to make jokes again. He was kicked out by Stephanie again. Very fucking retarded. Very cheap. You know, where are they going with this golden truth stuff? They've been building this up for like three, four months. And it's not funny. It's not entertaining. It's not good. Like, where, where the fuck are they going with this? Fucking cheap. In the main event, AJ Styles and the club defeated New Day. Um, Cena got involved a little bit to help clear out the ring at the end or something. And, um, you know, this is your main event. It was okay, I guess, but who gives a shit there? Like, I don't want to say, oh, Steve Austin, it was better than this there, but think of the old days. Think of the, the main events that we used to get there. The Austin main events, Taker, fucking Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels on, on Raw main events. Even the Triple H main events, Kurt Angle, shit like this. And now you look at the main event now, fucking New Day, Doc Gallows, who the fuck cares about this?
How is this a fucking main event? It's not. It's a bunch. It's AJ Styles and a bunch of goddamn jobbers. That's your fucking main event. Pretty goddamn cheap. The quality has gone down fucking super down. Like super fucking low quality now. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins. Okay, all you got from them was video packages. Okay? And this is the world title feud. Alright? The first week, Roman Reigns comes out to, to beat up Rollins. Rollins runs away. Second week, Rollins walks up to the ring, runs away. Walks up to the ring, runs away. This week, they're not even fucking there, and you're getting video packages. This is for the world title, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Reigns, big star there. Seth Rollins coming back. This is a big deal, apparently. And this is the fucking storyline for the world title. Are you kidding me? A guy that runs away two, three shows. And now they're not even there. They're just showing us video packages. What a fucking pile of shit. Oh, this is intriguing. No, it's not. A story that's based on running away. That's your fucking story for the belt. Very goddamn cheap. These writers are getting beyond lazy now. Beyond fucking lazy. The show is fucking crap. Cena and AJ Styles is good. That, that's the only good part. The rest is fucking garbage. It's getting hard to watch there. I'm, I'm losing the trail again there, fucks. Uh, they need to do something, man. This is pretty goddamn cheap. Until next time. Peace.